Hey there, Nuggets. How are you? How are you doing? Let me know how you are. Okay, let me make sure this is working. Yes. Okay. So today, I was going to ask if my hair is on fire or if I'm the leader of the rooster. <laughs> if they're going to come and find me. So if you happen to see them out in the yard, they probably just think I'm their leader. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay. I want to show you, actually, an easy process to do this hair color. Um, okay, so what I did is I parted my hair into, let's see, probably five, five to six different sections. Uh, let me draw you a little sample here. All right, please hold. And yeah, so I like visual aids. Do you like visual aids? Perfect, perfect. Okay. So, yeah. this is the top of your head. Okay, this is your melon. This is also a super easy process. So, if some of you have little girls or little boys that just want the tips of their hair colored, or like you don't want to color a whole section or all of their hair, uh, oh, hang on, I got a piece of this hair on me. Um, what you can do is this super easy little part. Okay, so if this is the front of my head, okay, so I take this one little section and I put it in a ponytail, okay? Then I take Okay, then I take this section and put it, oh my gosh, okay, put it in a ponytail. Put, oh, actually, this ponytail I put out to the side, so let that spread out to the side, okay? So literally, and then I put a ponytail here and a ponytail here, okay? So literally, <clears throat> there's no, you can't do this wrong. If you only want this top section colored, what you can do is literally just take this, like see how it's literally just colored in my ponytail, <laughs> right? So I put five different ponytails in my melon, just like this. And then I hold my hair like this with a glove on, please put a glove on, and then just take hair color and then just swipe it in this part. And then I, so this will be in a ponytail. And then I kind of just take this and make sure it's all blended. Because what you want to do is make sure that there aren't any that there aren't any lines in there. You don't want your hair color to have a specific line. So when you kind of just kind of do this in there, okay, it's a technique, right? It's Jenny McKinney. That's how you smudge it, smudge your hair color in there. And then that's how it'll come out. So let's say if you're you or your child wants some hair color just on the tips, that's exactly how you can do that. Okay, let me fix that. Oh gosh, okay, there we go, welcome back. So I did bring this, this is what I have in my mouth, okay? This is what stuck to my hair color. So, or my hair finger. <laughs> okay. So you're going to take your little ponytail, right? And then you're going to just do this. And then you're going to literally just hold it like that. Okay. So you're going to have your, your glove and you're going to hold it like that. I know that this is, I just had this for an example. And then you're literally just going to take your hair color and slap it on there like that. Okay. Then move away from your ponytail holder, like right here. And then you're just going to kind of get in there and just kind of smudge the color down to the little rubber band. Okay. Super easy. And you can make your, the amount of hair that you use as much or as little as you want, okay? So I wanted to leave my, uh, the color closest to my head still blonde. And so you'll see that when I did that, I actually, so if my ponytail was here, right? You can see how it's kind of, oh, see right there, that was a line that was in the middle, see? But you won't see the line when it's all uh, like that. Okay. Pushing it the wrong way. So I just want to share that. I also want to add that hair color does not lift hair color. So if you're trying to put this on a on your hair or a child's hair that is dark, 
and you're expecting it to be this bright, it will not be this bright. It has to be on lightened hair. So if your child has light hair, also know that when you buy a uh, hair dye that does not have to be mixed, it's basically a stain. And so it will stain the hair, okay? So if you are wanting it to literally be temporary, you might not want to use a direct dye hair color because it will stain it. And like reds are the hardest to keep it, to get in and to keep out. Get out and keep in, opposite. You know what I'm saying? It's fine, I'm professional, whatever. And so just know that. Also, you can, um, I know that some people have used Kool-Aid. This is not Kool-Aid. This is actually uh, Pravana. I mixed red and magenta. And then, uh, and I have hair license. So I go to like Salon Centric or Cosmoprof to get my hair color. You can use colors. Please know that Manic Panic and Splat are two of the hardest things to get out of hair color. So I would almost say, if you're trying to do like a kid's, the end of the kid's hair color, I would almost, if you are not a fan of it, what I would do is just do the very, very end and then just do a trim when it's ready to come out. Okay, so I just wanted to share that. How did I get this technique in my wig? I call it a wig. It's my built-in wig. It's real, see? Ah. See, and then you can even see on the side where I had put it in a ponytail like that. So yeah, smudge, main thing is smudge and don't have lines. Okay, easy breezy. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you have an awesome day. You don't get attacked by roosters. Your hair is not on fire. Your day is super easy and smooth. Even though it's no shave November, I hope your day is smooth as fresh shaved legs. <laughs> Okay, Nuggets, I'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Bye.